quote you said that uh, when you're in the vortex, you know, you get evidence that you're in there, not as a reward, but as a consequence of being in alignment with who I am. And the... And, you know, I said I don't care if anything manifests. And just to be clear... Here it comes. From in the vortex... Here it comes. From in the alignment, everything freaking vort uh, manifest <laughs> like crazy. I mean, like beyond my dreams, beyond my dreams. Yes. And I'm not even... Tr so I'm not even trying. I just... And, align and so let's talk about what some of those manifestations are. First, that glorious emotion that you're feeling is a manifestation, isn't it? Yeah. Think about it. I want that and that and that and that. And if I get that and that and that, then I'll feel good. So it's the feeling good that's the manifestation that you're looking for all along. But when you figure out how to get into the vortex and get the manifestation first, the manifestation, the big deal, the main thing that you're really looking for, you have access to now, 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 now. It's just a vibrational twinkie in a way. As you find alignment with that now, from that powerful alignment where you are in sync in resonance with the energy that creates worlds now it flows through you for the specific manifestation in terms of of the where and the who and the what and the when and all of that you help us to say something and we've been saying it pointedly for a while but let's just slip it in here because it's such a good basis for where we're going next and that is yeah. most people are looking for manifestations so that they can get into the vortex when you figure it out that what you're really looking for is being in the vortex or being in full resonance with who you are and that from that position then that vortex in you that complete full you then affects the manifestations so as we began saying that more pointedly esther saw this big machine it was on the side of the road one of those with the big tractor tires that goes this way and as she was looking at it she thought she, the image came to her mind about being in the vortex and then the vortex reaching back into reality and bringing more this way in other words it goes this way the it, it, it's this constant cycle where i know what i want and and the vortex is is spinning and if i'm in alignment with it then the vortex affects the manifestation and we've been saying it to you in many ways for many years that you have to be in vibrational alignment with what you want in order for it to come about and we've been talking about manifestations but for most people there has been a gap between this business of doing the vibrational work and the manifestations and almost everybody says okay here I stand I'm a manifested being and I care about the what isness of my life and we say of course you do because what is is it's who you are it's where you be everything that surrounds you equals the manifestation of this moment in other words everyone you talk to even the thoughts you think the feelings you have it's all manifesting now manifesting now so most people say all right here I am I don't have as much money as I want I'd like to manifest more money my car I don't even want to talk about my car <laughs> I want a new car I'm really not very happy with where I live and I'm looking for a relationship that that I'm looking for a relationship I'm looking for really I'm looking for a relationship I'm looking for something better than what I've had I'm, I'm looking for a relationship so I want to manifest these things and they feel like pinnacle things they feel like big things they feel like things off in the distance I want to manifest these things so I think I'll go to this stupid meeting the science of deliberate creation the art of allowing the law of attraction I'll go to this meeting and I'll figure out how to manifest those things so that I can then be happy and so even though we visit in lots of ways we talk about this we talk about this year after year after year almost everyone is still doing it that way I want to fill in the missing pieces of my life so I'm therefore willing to do whatever it takes to fill in the missing pieces of my life and we say and you said and we know and you know that the only missing piece is the relationship with your inner being that you've been looking for that's the only missing piece that's the only missing piece the cooperative components have already been gathered and are ready to manifest you're just the missing link you're just 
the holdout, not always, but sometimes in being the cooperative component. So when you get it, that your work is to ignore what is, no matter what it is, to ignore it, to, to love it and appreciate it for the expansion that it has caused. But now get off of it and start feeling your way into the vortex, feeling your way into the vortex. And what we've noticed is most of you won't make the effort to feel your way into the vortex as long as you have some other way of wrestling it to the ground and killing it. <laughs> Esther said, I realized that I wasn't really lining up because why line up? I've got people. <laughs> I have people to call. Okay. Something goes wrong, I'll just call someone and say, can you take care of that? And, and the people around me are so efficient and so good at it that they, they, they can put out the brush fire yeah. almost as fast as I can set them. But in time, you come to this place and you certainly have found this place where feeling good is what really matters. And if we can convince you that the way you feel is what matters and you have the ability to feel good no matter what now, because you have the ability to focus in a way that allows you to feel good no matter what now. If you can find the feeling place of alignment, what happens is then in your complete alignment where in your vortex everything that you've been asking for has been gathered now the vortex will lay the groundwork and create the path the delicious unfolding path for the manifested discovery of what you're looking for and that's what we started to ask you a little bit ago when we want to say to you isn't it delicious to have found the resonance of knowing more than belief of knowing your wholeness and then to watch that wholeness be manifested again and again in a conversation in a sweet making of love in a in a in a manifestation of something that you want in details of life that are delicious in every way no matter what the subject of it because once you get there once you begin consciously and deliberately manifesting from inside the vortex then you know what else you get you get the freedom of resistance, which is just divine. And you get something that almost all of you have been speaking about since you were very, very little. You get knowledge of your worthiness because the manifestations just keep supporting the wholeness of who you are. I love what you of said. You uh, I understand perfectly. Don't go backwards. Don't go backwards. You know, don't. Don't try to look for the manifestation to, to get into the vortex. On the, Don't go backwards. On the Alaskan cruise ship, Esther came around the corner from her stateroom with Barbara and the crazy Abraham participants on the ship had orchestrated a mob dance. <laughs> Sweet. They were coming down the stairwells. They were coming up the stairwells. They were coming out of the hall. They were coming out of their doors. It was quite a sight to see. And the song that they were playing and dancing to was never look back, 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 never look back because everything is forward. Everything's in the vortex. That's who you are. And when you look back, you deprive yourself of who you are and it doesn't feel good. And when you look back, you're defending, you're justifying, you're explaining, you're probing. In other words, the now is the richness. It's this now here-ness. We began last Sunday in Seattle by saying... We are extremely pleased that you are here, 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 here. And we want to help you to feel the, the bigness of the here-ness because here means the convergence of all that you are. And here, this powerful now where you meet you is all any of us have. In other words, it's, but, but, the, but the thing that you are helping us to emphasize that is really a new leading edge understanding that you're resonating with is that when you are here in your physical bodies, in this time space reality, in this room, having this conversation, and you are resonating in vibrational accord with the wholeness of who you are, then you allow who you are to be here with you too, here with you too, no separation, no deprivation, here with you. And that's when you are feeling 
the fullness of who you are. That's what, that's the way life is supposed to feel. You're supposed to feel really, really, really brilliant. You are. You're supposed to feel really, really, really adored. That's who you are. You're supposed to feel appreciation for each and everything that you focus upon. And when you look out into a diverse world, there's plenty that you can find not to appreciate on. Don't look too long there. Because when, you, because when you look too long there, it sucks you mm. out of the vortex or really the vortex can't hold you when you do that. So I mean, we're here. Who I am is here. I'm here. Simone's here. We're just here. Yes. We're just here. And my others, just the last thing, my slogan, I wanted to share my latest slogan that my words to live by is this. Love has taken over. That's my life. Love has taken over. We like it too. We like that I love too. it. Here, and uh, if, would you like a little embellishment on that as well? Oh, yeah. Since it's the leading edge, why not? Yes. Yeah. Love is a manifestation because emotion is a manifestation, isn't it? Alignment is a manifestation. So love is a manifestation in the moment that cannot be accurately articulated because it's so deep. And so when you find that manifestation, you are there. So there are two things that happen under those conditions. We talked about that. So whether you call it love, worthiness, what it really is, is freedom in the moment that you're focused there. Freedom from resistance, which is the only thing that ever makes you feel bad. Nice to know. We have enjoyed Thank our you. relationship.